Lay your head up on my shoulder Place your hand on my chest I wanna love you till I'm older Love you till there's none left You like it when I call you baby I like it when you say it's mine I know just how to get you out of crazy You know just how to free my mind You can't hide it When it's that time Just like lightning We are striking I can feel you feel the flow underneath Your kiss is so sweet Your kiss is so sweet up welcome back to my youtube channel i'm carlos harris bro today's a beautiful day actually let me take y'all outside just look at this beautiful day outside today Jeez. sun busting but as you can see by the title um today i'm going to be talking about how i was able to like escape the nine to five um i've been working for myself for seven almost eight years i think i haven't literally punched into a job since then but i really want to give you guys that in-depth look at what I do on a daily basis to get my work done, whether it's content creation, fulfilling orders, emails, whatever that is, I wanna take you through that and also explain to you the steps that I took to quit my nine to five. I took a traditional, or not traditional, untraditional route um, that may not be suitable for everybody, but at the same time, I feel like if it's for you, it works. If it isn't for you, maybe you could take another path and I can direct you down that path. But today, we got a busy schedule. I've already worked out at 6 a.m. I worked out with Frank and Brandon downstairs in my gym. Um, we kind of did like a, a full body workout, I would say. Um, that was good. And now I'm about to go ahead to grab coffee with Justin. Plus we're gonna shoot some of his content that he needs to shoot. And then I have to shoot some content for Rockstar, which we have to shoot it at a gas station. And I typically shoot my content myself on a tripod, but at a gas station, it's too much shit going on and I have to get certain shots that I could just easily just be assisted on if he's there. So we're gonna be able to get that done. And then I also need to go get my car washed, which I'm gonna catch up on my um, marketing emails uh, from our um, agency side, as far as the invoicing and stuff that we have to do, because some companies have been tripping on that. And then after that, I have to go to my office, fulfill orders and have them scheduled to pick up the next day. So it's a busy day. And I really wanna give you some insight on what it takes to basically be an entrepreneur and kind of the ups and downs that I went through. And maybe you can go do that. And if entrepreneurship isn't what you wanna do, maybe you can learn something just about, I guess, hard work and pushing yourself to do what you wanna do in life. But without further ado, first of all, fit check. Got the Omega Speedmaster on today. I know we was talking about the Cartier in the last video, but it's still not getting anywhere. And then down below, I got, well not down below, up top, <laughs> I got the John Elliott uh, cut off on, John Elliott shorts. And then we got the, uh, what are these things called? The Lost and Founds? I think the Lost and Founds or the Reimagines, whatever they're called, because I think it was two different names for those. But it's just calm, cool, collective fit. But yeah, um, I need to hurry up because I need to be there in the next 15 to 20 minutes and it takes me forever to get in my car. So I'll meet you guys at the coffee shop. All right, so one of the first major steps, because um, I'm sitting here waiting on Justin, one of the first major steps that I did and the first major step for everybody, if that's something that they want to do, is taking the leap of faith. And that's probably one of the hardest things for people to do is to take that leap of faith and just go after what you're actually trying to achieve. It's scary. It's uncomfortable. And it's really just like a back and forth that people, some people just can't make the decision to just go for it. I took that leap of faith. I jumped out the window. I didn't have like a savings plan or anything like that. And it's not something I suggest for people, but one thing that I've learned over the course of entrepreneurship is when my back's against the wall, I figure out who I am. Am I able to get out of that situation or am I going to fold up, quit and let life take me by the horns instead of taking life by the horns? So taking that leap of faith is one of the most important things that you're going to be able to do in the journey of entrepreneurship. Or if you're just pursuing any type of side hustle to go make more money for yourself, taking that leap of faith and actually getting out there and starting that project is a mental battle that a lot of people have trouble with. But remember that like, the pain of regret is always worse than the pain of failure. Because 
if you at least try and go out there and you you try to do it and you fail, at least you fucking tried it. At least you tried. Because if you don't try something, you never know what the outcome is going to be. So go out there and actually take that leap of faith for yourself. And for me, I took that leap of faith, didn't have any money saved. I had like $2,000 to my name and I ended up taking a trip to New York like right after that and um, expanded my network and was able to connect with a lot of different people that I've worked with over the years, um, expand my personal brand. I took a trip to Vegas, like literally right after that, um, and just collected so many cards at the gender trade show from every clothing company um, to kind of kickstart what I had going on. But I think Justin just texted me, so I'm gonna head in here to coffee and I'll pick up on kind of like the second thing that I wanna talk about is like creating like a clear plan for yourself as far as what you're going to be actually doing and structuring your life, which is another important part of um, actually succeeding in the longevity of uh, entrepreneurship, but that's something we'll get into. So let's get into the, the business part of this and get in here, get this coffee, shoot his stuff, shoot my stuff, and then we'll check back in on that. All right, let me tell the people what to cook up. All right, so I made it to the coffee shop. You know, I got my regular fix, my cream top. Uh, Justin has to shoot some stuff for Puma. I, I'm, I look, he got a vendetta against Puma because they ain't sent me nothing in a long time. So actually, if you see this, I need some shoes. Lucky. But we're gonna knock out these photos. I'll probably do some B-roll of me and my photography back because it's been a minute. <laughs> and then we're gonna go shoot the Rockstar stuff. Probably slide by Jeremiah's office if we got time because Justin is on time crunch. And from there, uh, we'll pick up and I'll keep giving you guys advice on leaving a nine to five. She love when I flits and shop in her mall But deep in her stress, I beat down her walls She skied on her chest, she kissing my balls We speedy in the bed, don't stop her the loss BB's on my neck, I shine in her doll It's easy to slip, don't want you to fall Walking with the drip, that make her a ball Shoot your shit Alright, I'm at the second gas station looking for this Rockstar uh, Energy like Focus And this is like a specific drink, so It's not like it's just gonna be at any store So if I gotta go to multiple stores, it's gonna be ridiculous Let's see. All right, this is a pretty big 7-Eleven, so they might have it here. because They got way more drink selection than the last place. Oh, energy drinks. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like they have it here either. Uh, damn. So they got the regular Rockstar, but they don't have the Rockstar Focus, which I'm about to check one more store, and if they don't got it there, the brand just gonna have to direct me to where I can actually pick this shit up, because I shouldn't have to go to a million different stores to try to find a product that you guys are promoting. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna check one more store, and then hopefully we can find it. If not, I'm gonna just skip that campaign and figure that out later. Like I said, I'm going to one more store and that's gonna be, actually I'm about to text the brand and ask them what the issue is because we on a scavenger hunt to find, bro, we on a scavenger hunt to find Rockstar Focus when it's supposed to be at the store and you're supposed to get $5 off if you text the code. How, how they gonna run the campaign? It ain't nowhere. I gotta text these fools, bro. This is crazy. I'm over here about to, bro, I'm on 13 miles so empty. I'm trying to get my $5 back on, on the little thing so I can do my campaign and get some gas, yeah, get some, yeah, gas. and get the bag, but they're not allowing me to do that. So I'm going to text the brand and see if they know what location, where it's at, because I'm not going to keep spinning the block. I'm going to go get my car washed, and they're going to have to worry about that Rockstar Focus some other time, buddy. All right, so we on standby to try to figure this out, but your boy had to go ahead and get gas, so... When y'all see my ad, just know I'm getting fake gas because I'm not going to go just refill two little cents and stuff like that. But to continue on what I was saying um, about entrepreneurship and the next step of uh, that is making a clear financial plan. So a financial plan is basically figuring out how your businesses are going to make money. And for me, it was doing Instagram content creation and starting my marketing company and then ultimately starting a creative co-working space called NEP Studios, which was a photography studio 
slash offices for young creatives and stuff. And it was based in Dallas, Texas. Uh, and then after all that stuff kind of concluded, I started a men's hygiene brand and was able to continuously like grow things. But you have to have a plan for yourself. If you're going to pursue leaving like your nine to five, figure out your different streams of income that are going to be able to pay your bills and any overhead that you have. One thing that I kept in mind was as long as I can pay my bills. And at the time when I first quit, I was only paying like five hundred dollars because I was in like a one and a half bedroom in Texas. The cost of living is super low. Um, and me and my roommate were splitting that. Um, and I paid more room. I paid more because I had like the bedroom. But as long as I could cover my overhead, the rest of the shit was a luxury. Ain't no going out. Ain't no doing all these little extracurricular activities. It's time to lock in because all the money that you're getting needs to be reinvested back into your business so you can keep growing it. Um, and that's the thing that I uh, can't stress enough is making sure that you have sources of income that are going to make you that overhead. That way you're not stressing about things. But that goes back to how you prepare to take that leap of faith that we were talking about. That leap of faith, some people want to save up money. Like I said, I ain't save up no damn money. I just took the leap of faith. I was down to my last like nine nine hundred dollars and my grandma had passed away and she ended up leaving me three thousand dollars that my dad transferred to me and i ended up using that to travel meet new other creatives and stuff like that too so make yourself um open to different streams of income whatever it is um i just kept using my instagram money to start other things um like my marketing company and then i used all the money that i used from both of those to invest in that co-working space which we was making dumb cash and then COVID happened but uh, I think my gas is almost done. I think we're gonna spend like, damn, seventy-eight dollars and forty-six cents. But see, it needs streams of income, cause this shit expensive. It ain't fucked up a few mil, now I'm back like I came. That boy said my name, I went got me some strange. You know I don't crash, I just stay in my lane. Please don't compare because we not the same. Go on and no gimmick, ain't clowning for fame. My trap for a living, then been had a name. Work hard for these clothes, causing watches and chains. Oh man, bro, what's got umbrellas? Just whip for the rain. These fucked them fucked up, let me slip in the game. This bitch let me fuck this shit went to her brain. She know I'm a beast in the What's up, little man? Girl. Or girl, I was about to ask. There's a boy or girl. What's her name? Taco. Taco. Taco, you chilling right? You watching the door, look. You a guard dog. <laughs> Taco, say what's up to the fam. You're chilling, all right, you're on break. I understand. It's been a long day. Long day of protecting the door, huh? All right, so Rockstar gave an update. So all of the um, stores and stuff haven't received the product, so they're switching kind of the direction that they want to go. I just need to record at the gas station and do the verbiage um, for that driving traffic to the actual locations, because by the time I post it, it'll actually be at the store. But the pivot on that is cool. I might still be able to go to a gas station while Justin still has time and stuff like that. But um, cars getting washed. And another thing I want to talk about just with entrepreneurship, once everything is like set up and you got like your money and stuff flowing, you obviously have to start thinking about saving your cash. And one of the things that I did over the course of time and it was implemented into like the Chase banking system was saving 20% of anything deposited over $20 because in my field of work and with any type of entrepreneurship, if it's not passive income and you're having to actively do something, you never know when you have you might have like slow periods. So you always want to put money back. 20% is what I started with. And I progressively built that higher um, over the years. I think I'm at like maybe 30, 35% of whatever um, is deposited over $50 goes into my savings account. And then from there, obviously the regular bank accounts and savings accounts they don't collect or give you any type of like interest on your money that's sitting there inside of the account so i put my stuff inside of an american express high yield savings account there's better high yield savings accounts but that's the one that i went with because i have american express cards i think it's maybe at five percent right now but it's my money making me money and that's where you're having like some of your passive income so whatever amount you put in there it'll um you know accumulate every single month you'll have more and more money inside the bank and you want to have a cushion for yourself just in case again there's like rainy days where you need to pull out some money or anything like that you have that money for yourself and you have like a cushion for you to fall back on because once you establish yourself you never know what can happen fucking recession happens people just stop buying shit whatever it is you might have something happen so it's always good to like fall back on that i'm about to uh i think go to the store grab a snack and then after that i'm probably gonna drop justin off and then head to my office to 
pack up orders and then I'll check back in with maybe just some more tips and tools and stuff about like leaving your nine to five. But that's like the most important things. And if you guys have any questions about leaving your nine to five, feel free to ask me um, about that. But again, I've been doing this for damn near eight years now and it's, uh, it's definitely worked out for me. Got my shit back to brand new, boy. The wheels was dirty. Looking good. Sheesh. That light be busting. Come around here. Sheesh. Boy, that mobile is going hard. Alright, so finished getting the car washed. I'm about to head to the gas station just to do this like gas pumping scene uh, for the Rockstar stuff. Again, the uh, the theme around that is you're able to go into the store and buy a Rockstar um, Energy and Focus and you're able to text like this number and it'll give you $5 back when you submit your receipt um, to the little, I think, yeah, it's the number. You'll get $5 back on your gas and I'm pretty sure that's worldwide. Um, so that's the cool part about it. It's just the stuff isn't in the store right now, so I have to improvise, they said, and be able to do that. But it is, I think it's available like at your uh, like grocery stores and stuff where you can buy it by the pack. Because I know when they sent it to me, it was like a 12 pack that they sent me of each one. But yeah, that's a cool little deal. So if y'all looking to save on some gas, definitely look into that. Um, even if you don't, I guess, drink Rockstar, you still get $5 back, who knows? Gotta get it done real quick. So I'll set this joint up. Feel me pumping some gas. Get a check. Bro really set his tripod up. Bro really get the bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They said to keep the uh, the gas station out of it as much as possible. Like even the brand of the gas station, like Shell and all that. Well, it it's obviously gonna be in there, but just like as tight as I can. That so makes I'll sense. probably frame it real quick, and then uh, we'll be good to see. I'm gonna close the doors. Right. Be a lot going on in LA. All I got is a knife. I don't need, I don't need nobody. Yeah, I don't need nobody sneaking up, hopping in a whip, and you know. X three M in there with the competition, of course. And then, eh, I can blur that shit out if it's like an issue. But I'm gonna just turn off the car and put that shit. In. Yeah, we can get this other end. Yeah. Good to go. And that's what you call a full on production with your iPhone. <laughs> All right, just made it to my office. I think it is like four o'clock, 4.17. So got a lot done today, still got a lot to do. I got like 13 orders that we gotta pack and get ready to ship out uh, from the Creature of Habits and also a few emails to do for my marketing company. So we're about to knock that out. I need to grab some food. I'm probably gonna grab one of those um, uh, ghost energy drinks so I didn't get a chance to grab another coffee. I'm probably gonna try the sweetest fish one. Actually, let me grab that. I'm gonna see what the, the first impressions is looking like. All right, so we got the sweetest fish one right here. I don't know why this keeps trying to track my face. I need to take that off. But let's get the, uh, the first impression right here. I didn't get to put it in the refrigerator, but I think it's still gonna be good. It definitely tastes like a Swedish fish. I think it might be a little different in taste because I did. I was chewing gum earlier, so that might like throw it off a little bit. But it tastes like a Swedish fish. One thing about ghosts, the flavors be on point from the Sour Patch, the Warheads, all those. And I had a couple people hit me up on Instagram that actually went and bought a few ones. Damn, fuck! Like I had to burp. Um, Somebody had got the um, the orange cream one that I was saying like, yo, I don't really know about this. And they said it was busting. So I'm gonna have to try that one too. But yeah, I'm gonna drink this. 
uh, hook up my laptop and stuff and get to work and order some food. Probably gonna order me some Thai food real quick. And yeah, roll some B-roll. We were born in the rubble. We were raised in the mud. Yeah, it's hard in the city where I'm from. Trying to live, gotta make it. Make it out of the slum. Yeah, it's hard in the city. City where I'm from. When you're cold and all alone, you can build you a city and call it home. And when I was lost and on my own, I got out of the city. It's 6.35, I'm done packing orders, and Justin, Silas, and um, Jeremiah invited me, or they got invited to this event that they wanna go to, and I'm probably gonna slide to that. It's supposed to be from seven to 10, but then like we're only staying from seven to like nine, cause Justin's having some shit at his house. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go to that. I gotta go home, get dressed, and basically make my way over there. So hopefully it's not too much traffic, cause it's like six o'clock. But I might wrap the vlog up here or I might pick up and I don't know, show y'all some of the event. I don't really be going out too much, but if not, I'm gonna close out the vlog here. But I was supposed to put this in my last vlog, bro. So I got my little mini hoop over here as, damn, can you even see it? Let's see, damn, I gotta adjust my shit. Boom, so the mini hoop is over there. So I gotta make three shots before I leave here, so. I'm gonna set this up. And this is a mandatory thing. Every time that I'm in my office, I gotta make three shots before I head out. So I'm gonna set up the camera, bust out these three shots, take my ass home, um, get dressed, head over there. And yeah, um, we might continue the vlog, we might not. All right, we got the ball, let's knock down these three shots. That's one. That's three. Don't play with me. Let's get out of here. Oh, 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 oh.